Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kylie. I wanted to share with you guys what I found at this crazy vintage sale in Brooklyn today. It was at Dusty Rose Vintage and they are not going out of business per se, but they're like switching their distribution I guess so it's in a warehouse in Greenpoint and they used to be open to the public today's the last day they're open to the public so what they did is they had like this fill a bag sale craziness where it was just like you had to know about it and you walk up the warehouse to the second floor and you wait in a huge long line down the hallway and there's just bins and bins of clothes so you could buy a small bag for $20 or a big bag for $50. Um, what I did is I bought the tote bag, which was honestly not that much bigger than the small bag, um, also for $50 because I, one, didn't want to get a paper bag because it's not sustainable and whatever as much, and two, I really like the tote bag, and if the paper bag ripped, you had to like go back and buy another one type of situation, so I was like, Let's do the tote bag. So, this is the tote bag. It is very cute and as you can see, very full, which is great because I went out in Brooklyn after and got brunch. So, it says, I buy vintage. And Dusty Rose by Libby Vanderplog. So, that's who designed the bag. And let's see what I got. I'm not going to do a try on because a lot of the stuff, well, all the stuff needs to go in the wash before I wear it. But I got a lot of cool stuff. Um, from my understanding, there's like two parts of it. Like it's um, the sustainability factor. Like they, you know, it, it's part of the, I think, from what I understand, the, like, New York sanitation, they have, like, a recycling, like, sustainable fashion type program. Um, so, one, I think it's part of that. And, two, I think they also work a lot with costumers for the film industry. So, a lot of the stuff, you know, is, like, straight vintage. Like, it's actually vintage. Um, you might, you know, wear it for a play or something like period pieces um and then some of the stuff was just random like I found something that was lululemon um lots of stuff so just bins and bins of clothes and you have to literally dig through them and then I just rolled stuff up and put it in my bag I was there for probably like an hour to be honest um but this is the first thing. I don't know who that designer is, Christopher Dean. I don't know. I don't know how old this is. Um, but it is just a basic black dress. I thought it's something, you know, I'll actually wear like to work and stuff. Um, I don't know if you can see it. it has like the hole in the back there. Um, it does need some mending. Like I need to get a little sewing kit because I mean, it's not super noticeable, but just the seam here needs to be sewn a little bit. Other than that, it's in pretty good shape. And again, this is something I think will fit and I'll actually wear. So just a good basic black dress. Um, oh, it's also cute because it's like ombre to gray. So I don't know if you can tell, but it is. And then this is just a pink skirt it does look quite vintage to me um but it is in pretty good shape it doesn't have any stains or anything but it does look you know hand sewn but it has a tag but I, I I'm not sure if it's homemade or not but just a cute pleated skirt I thought it would be cute like tight waisted with tights again I think this is something I'll definitely wear the color is really pretty so so far so good I 
And then this is just, this was weird because I found it in the bin with swimsuits. And at first I thought it was a cover up for a swimsuit, but I, I'm pretty sure it's just a black dress and it just happened to be there. Um, yeah. But it's really open in the back, so I don't know. But this is just a black lace dress. And this is another black lace dress. The hook's caught in the waist. So, you know, kind of hard to see the detailing. This bun is super sparkly. Um, looks like it's a halter top. Again, this one could use some mending. One of the hook and eyes is torn off, um, but that's, you know, really basic fix, you know, new sewing, pretty easy to do. This one I'm excited about. This is just a really sparkly silver sweater, but it's still freezing out. And I had a ton of sweaters that shrunk in the wash that I sent out recently, so I actually do need sweaters. So that's a cute one. And this is just a blouse. Um, it has ruffle detail and it also has silver, which was pretty. And it's just, you know, pink and gray stripes, but you know, it, it has a vintage-y vibe, like with the ruffle and stuff. Um, definitely, definitely older, but it's in good condition, and I think it's something I could wear and would be cute, like with black jeans or something. So I got that. And by this point, I feel like I was just grabbing stuff and rolling it in my bag. This is just a basic sweater. I really got a lot of stuff though. It was kind of like, you know, when you're packing for a trip and you're just rolling everything in your suitcase. That's what I was doing until it was like full and I was like, okay, it's time to go. Okay, so this is really pretty. It's just a dress that has like a nice shimmer to it. Um, I mean, it's kind of see-through-ish. Like, I would wear something under it, probably, just to be safe. Like, I have white lace shorts that I wear. Um, but I think it's cute, like, for spring, for summer. It's cute. Okay, and this is also a dress. Also, the sizing is so weird. Like, this is a size 10. Like, maybe 50 years ago, this was a size 10. You know, like, this is pretty small. Um, but it's, like, a long maxi dress. It has a slit in the back. I thought this was a cool pattern. I like the flowers. I feel like it's not too grandma like it doesn't look like super like vintage and old you know what I'm talking about um just a cool flower pattern and this is another sweater this one is a turtleneck sweater and it's just black so that's good I'll definitely wear this also it was so cold and windy today like I feel like in New York it's been not that cold like I've been getting away with really light jackets and today I was like wow I could use a winter jacket because I was just wearing my moto jacket with the fur under but it was not cutting it um anyway this this I think honestly is going to be big like I contemplated this a little bit it's like a romper um with velvet on top and then it is just 
black pants. Um, but then I thought, you know, wide leg is kind of in, and if they're too big, that might be okay. Um, I don't think it's going to be, like, astronomically big. But I'll try it on, and I'll see. So I thought the romper was cool. Or I guess it's a jumpsuit if it's longer. A romper is shorter, right? Anyway, this was really pretty. Um, I can definitely tell that the top is see-through, so I would have to wear at least a bralette under this, if not just, you know, some type of cami. Um, but the bottom is okay. So, again, this is just a black dress. Um, very sheer top, and then it has a sheer detailing here, and it's long sleeved, which is awesome. So, you know, being in New York, I wear a lot of black, so I got a lot of black. And this is just a red dress. I'm going to wear it with high heels and go to a Jonas Brothers concert. Isn't that weird? That's 2020, and I'm saying that. Um... Anyway, yeah, just a really basic red dress. Thought it was cute. Like the sleeves. Gonna wear that. Okay, this. I don't know, honestly, if this is men's or women's. Um, there's no tag on it. The glory of vintage, who knows. But I have been really liking like plaid and herringbone lately for black and white. So that is the pattern on there. Um, I didn't try it on, but I think it's gonna fit. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. Does it have shoulder pads? Okay, it doesn't have shoulder pads per se, but it's definitely poofed out at the shoulder. But that's okay. That's a vibe. Um, yeah, I mean, it would have to be steamed. But I think this is cute. Like, with black pants or a skirt. It doesn't have... Does it have buttons? No, it does have buttons. And... This feels very, like, like, London or Parisian to me, like, very European, you know? Okay, can we just also reiterate that I got all of this, like, this is my pile so far, and I still have more, and all of it was $50 at this vintage place, so honestly... Shopping sustainably, like I know a lot of ritzy vintage places can be super expensive and kind of stupid. You're paying like 50 bucks for like a vintage band tee or something. But good vintage places are worth it. It's good for your pocket. It's better for the environment. More sustainable. The world is crazy right now, guys. Countries are in fire. Like, do not buy new clothes. Do clothing swaps. Go to vintage stores shop on line at vintage stores like just the problem is with fast fashion even if it's like five dollars for a top you know you might wear it once and then it gets ruined in the wash and you never wear it again or it's like overly trendy and cheap material like i've only shopped at forever toy one a handful of times when i freshman year of college i got like this this literally neon mini skirt and it like fell apart in the wash and I like wore it one night to a party never to be worn again just because I thought it was like tight and cute actually I think my boyfriend at the time was like oh my god don't wear that just because it was like really tight maybe that's why they wear it again but also it was cheap like don't just don't shop fast fashion I'm getting off on a tangent okay this, kind of similar to the other sweater, but this one is like a bronze color. Like, it's not quite gold. It's not quite rose gold, but it's definitely metallic, and it's like a sweater set, you know? Like, it's a layer here. It's connected, but it looks like you're wearing a sweater and a cardigan over it. It's cute. Also, the good thing about shopping for myself is... Pretty much I can eye stuff and know if it's gonna fit so this was like my element like I felt so bad for this one girl she was like standing to the side 
and she ended up like giving her bag to someone else because she because it's like you have to pay to get in with the bag um so you, like no returns you were obligated to like go and fill your bag and she was so like overwhelmed she was like honestly like I only want this one skirt like this is not my scene like you can take it and fill it and I'll just wait for you like take your time um because I mean I like to dig like in stores and stuff but if if that's not for you like this was not this was overwhelming so I totally get that um but this was like my element because I don't need to try spawn like you can try spawn I can just Find stuff and it will fit, so it was great. So, this is a romper. Those were jumpsuits. This is a romper. So, I thought this was just cute for spring. Again, this is probably super vintage, like genuinely. Um, it kind of looks handmade. Um, hand wash cold. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be careful about washing all this stuff, but cute okay I'm talking a lot we're gonna keep this going okay this so I saw this black ribbon this bow here I don't know if you can see in the bin and I like reached for it because I thought it was so cute and it was attached to this dress um you know like a, a fancy Special occasion dress, really long. I think it will fit. My only hesitation is it genuinely has shoulder pads, like real ass shoulder pads. So I don't know. Maybe they'll come back in style, or maybe I can take them out, or maybe I can just wrap them. Ironically, because it's vintage, and who cares? But I really loved the back of this dress. Like, this goes all the way down. So I'm excited about this one. keep this going this this is maybe like honestly probably the most expensive thing I got it's just because it's lululemon okay so this is just a vest I don't know which way it goes okay I guess this is the inside a lot of their stuff has this on the outside but maybe this is older. It's on the inside or it's reversal. Who knows? But it is just a warm vest, which is great because it's a thin layer. But again, it has been so gold. So this will be good. Okay, we're almost done. This. Oh my god, these buttons. <laughs> these, okay, now that I'm looking at it, it looks very, like, substitute teacher. Just because of these buttons, like, I think I didn't notice these before, and I don't know, they're just, that's the vibe they give me. Um, but this is, like, a, it's a dress, but it looks more like a top connected to a skirt. I'll actually wear this. Um, I wonder if I can unplug this one. But I thought this was cute, um, kind of a dated look. I wouldn't say it's super, super old. I can't really tell. Um, okay, it's not peplum, but it kind of looks like that cinched here. I honestly should bring my sewing machine here and, like, work my magic. Because, like, this, like, if I took the skirt up. I like replace the buttons or something you know like I don't know I feel like it would be a fun project to try to edit some of this okay now we're getting to the bottom of the bag we're getting to like when I first got in there and was just trying to fill the bag so this is a cashmere sweater um like I said all of my cashmere sweaters have shrunk in the wash so kind of need new ones and I don't I don't straight up buy cashmere like I know the royal industry is like not the best I don't buy it um my other ones were a gift 
and this one obviously was at a crazy vintage place. So, just want to clarify that. I do think it's better to buy, if you're going to buy, like, wool, leather, fur to buy a vintage. Um, I do eat vegan. I still have, well, I think I got rid of most of my leather stuff. Um, and I don't own any fur, but I do have some wool stuff. But it's all, like, pre-owned or, like, were samples or something like that. Okay, wow. I don't know if I'm going to wear this. <laughs> be completely honest this is one well I might I don't know it reminds me of dresses that I wore like to like Christmas Eve or to church when I was a kid like it's very it's like that velvet that's like old velvet you know what I'm saying like velvet came back on trend but this is like how it used to be you know um I mean, it's kind of cute, though, and it will fit. I don't know. Chin and vent or something. The nice thing about velvet, too, is it keeps you warm, and, like, this is long, so if I have something to go to in the winter, that would actually be really good. Or, oh, my God, those vintage holiday trains. I don't know if those are still running, but to do, like, a photo shoot with one of those, like, in a vintage outfit. That would be cute. Um, okay. Wow. This dress, this is the first thing that I picked up. And again, I was just thinking like, okay, vintage. Okay, fill the bag. Literally first thing. I like the bones of this. Like, I really like, I really like this. Um, I do not like the embroidery. Like, this, this is old lady. It really is. I'm not going to lie. But, like, kind of semi-ironically, I think I could rock this. Especially if I had, like, a cardigan over this. Because this part just looks really... You know what it reminds me of? Those candy... What's it called? Any hopper? Candy... I don't know. Those candy girls at, like, hospitals that you see. Like, they did it in Pretty Little Liars and the OC. Where they're, like, in these, like, tiny little outfits. And they, like, go, like... What, what do they do? Like, go help patients or something? <laughs> like, that's what this reminds me of. Wow. Okay, I'm almost done. I have two more things. So, this is just a lace cardigan. thought that was cute. I'll definitely wear this. And the last thing is a skirt um okay that's upside down this so it's super small here like this is going to be tight on me but definitely like if I hike it up it'll work I'm not a huge fan of these. Like, I feel like stuff's cute, and then I see, like, the buttons or an embellishment, and I'm like, hmm. But, again, I can always change the buttons. I can always edit it. This has good bones. Again, the quality of vintage stuff, like, the fact that this stuff is still around when it's, like, years old is kind of wild because, again, in comparison to something you'd buy at, like, oh, my God, the girl's in line behind me where like let's go to H&M after like girl what you're going to a vintage shop and then you're gonna go to H&M like okay but okay well, let's just look this is the pile of clothes I do not have enough room for all these clothes I'm going to have to probably get a dresser or another garment stand thing for my room but it's okay. I'm going to go. Um, there was one today, but I'm tired and probably not going to go to it. But a ton of places in Brooklyn and Manhattan, like collectives, they do clothing swaps. So it's just like you go all of your clothes and then they have all the clothes there that everyone leaves and you can just like pick and choose what you want instead. So stuff like that I think is just awesome. Like you don't even need to spend money to be sustainable with your clothing. You know, like, 
think about that. Like, you can't go to a store, like, with old clothes and switch them out with new ones. But these clothing swaps, that's exactly what you can do. And, you know, I think if you have a community base, like, if you're going to school or something, like, if you don't live in a city like New York where clothing shops are around, like, just start one. Do one with your friends. Start, like, a club. Do something on campus. I mean... Why not, right? Like, what a great way, instead of throwing something out or going shopping again, to get new clothes. So, 2020, we're being sustainable. Shop sustainable, go to thrift stores, do clothing swaps, and comment down below, you know, your thoughts on everything I got. And hopefully you are inspired to more sustainable fashion. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.